Hello. Uh, today I'm going to be making, th this, is, this is totally a new thing, so bear with me. I'm going to be making a Wabbit sandwich uh, for dinner tonight. So um, this is my first attempt. I thought maybe I'd record it just so, just for fun. Anyway, anyway, I'm Fox Sellers. This is my channel. This is the adventure for the day. So go ahead, click like, hit subscribe. Comment even, I'm sure some of you have made rabbit sandwich, so you're gonna have advice as to what to do. Please comment below. Um, so let's get started. So first step is going to be to dethaw the rabbit, of course, of course, which I've done. I have an entire whole rabbit here. I am going to uh, salt it first, and then I'm gonna do my first stage of seasoning, um, which is just uh, lemon. And I'm gonna let that soak for about an hour in the refrigerator. So let's first salt it. Not too aggressive. We'll get the other side. And you can also do this with just the hind legs. I think that's preferred with a lot of people. Um, I didn't have access to just hind legs, so I bought a whole rabbit. Um, we have a we have Wild Fork, which is nearby, and they have um, specialty meats. You can get venison and stuff like that. So I wanted to try rabbit. So here we go. Okay. So I'm putting it in a container and I am going to squeeze lemon. I don't know how much lemon I need. So I just cut up a whole ton of lemon. All right. Giving it a flip. I don't know if I'll need all of this, but let's see. Very slippery hands with a lemon, I'll say. Okay, I'm gonna give it another flip. This is working out fine. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit in the refrigerator for one hour. So it's been an hour, we're ready to take it out. Goodbye. It's been just over an hour. The rabbit's been sitting there getting a little of the lemon soaking into it. I'm gonna take it out of the bowl just to kind of spread some stuff on it. Um, but here's what we need. We're gonna add some garlic and ginger um you can use like already ground up out of the contain out of the, like you know the the can type of stuff um i tend to have this stuff on hand so it's just easier for me to use this and it, it usually comes out better so i'm gonna add a little to this to this side we're gonna add some thyme all over this and then we're gonna add some fresh rosemary I'm usually very aggressive with, with how I, I put some of this stuff on. So, um, and then we're going to have some paprika and this is all going to get kind of mixed into there. So it's, it's okay. Uh, let's see. Paprika. To change it again on that side, the aggressive salt, my salt comes out rather slow. So this might just take a moment. And then I'm gonna add oil to the top of this. Um, and then I'm gonna put it in the bowl and kind of mix it up and then add some more. Okay. That way I can get the back side of this real good. Okay, so then we'll get the top and the back of this. And so we do the same thing all over again. I don't want to get rabbit juice all over my pepper shaker. I'm not measuring because I just, I'm experimenting anyway, so what's the point? I just eyeball it, see how it looks. Okay, now we're gonna flip that over and do the same thing on this side. I'm starting with the ginger and the garlic. And we'll finish that off, that all goes in. Same with the thyme, and same with the rosemary.
Pepper again. Yeah, we might as well give it another salty. And paprika. What? Okay. I'm gonna add some more oil. Spin that around. We're gonna let that sit for about two hours in the refrigerator. We're gonna let, we're gonna see how that comes. I'm also trying out some new barbecue sauce on it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put any on it before I grill it. I think I'm just gonna put this on the sandwiches as we eat it, but it's like a gold, kind of like um, a tangy mustard, honey mustard barbecue sauce. Okay, so the rabbit has been marinating for two hours. After it was marinating for two hours, I let it sit out for about an hour so that it could get to room temperature and we're ready to put it on. I've had the grill on high, so it's as hot as it can be, but I will turn it down to medium once I put it on. Okay. Now I do grease the grill a little bit. I use olive oil. You, ne you shouldn't necessarily use olive oil because it burns at a, at a lower temperature than other oils, but I like olive oil, so that's what I'm gonna use. Here we go. Oh, let me put it on medium. As you can see, it's probably burning. And we're gonna put it on like this first. And then I'm gonna use this to baste. Okay, and then to go on the sandwich, we're gonna saute up some onions and some garlic to go with it. And I'll do it like thin sliced, but long. Cutting the ends off, of course. And then some garlic. This can be mixed in with the meat afterwards at your discretion. If you want it, you can have it. If you don't want it, you don't have to have it. Put the garlic in there. All right, good to go. All right, it's been five minutes on this side. So we're gonna flip it. And then we're going to baste this bad boy. All right, and then we'll give that five more minutes and then we'll flip again. Okay, so it's been five minutes. I am going to move it to the top burner. If it fits up there, I don't even know if it fits up there. Up there. Oh. I'm going to put it on the top for a little bit. Oh, let me baste it. And we'll come back in maybe like four or five minutes. Okay, so it's been approximately 40 minutes. I believe it's probably ready to go. So let's do it. We're gonna take that bad boy, we're gonna put that right there. I'm gonna leave the grill going because we're gonna toast our buns. I'm gonna let this sit, ow. I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes. Okay, so our onions are ready to go. 
these will just go on once we're ready. Okay, so we have pulled all of the meat off of the bones and the carcass and all of that. And this is what we're left with. It doesn't, it doesn't reap a lot of meat. However, um, it's enough for two, maybe three people. Um, but it's, um, you know, it's a lot of like dark meat. So I'm going to put this on a sandwich. Let's see how it comes out. And if you follow me over here, I'm going to put some onions on that. And then we also have the option of maybe a little barbecue sauce. I'm going to try the barbecue sauce on one side of it because I don't know if I like this barbecue sauce or not. So we'll see. Okay. Let's give it our first taste test. This is my first rabbit sandwich I've ever made. So. Mm, very good. And I think I like the barbecue sauce on it. Oh yeah. Mm. What? I mean, that's how you make a rabbit sandwich. There's there's some things I can do better next time. I think there's a little too much lemon in it, but it's mm, very good. I want to thank you for watching on Foxy Sellers. If you would, again, click, like, subscribe, maybe even comment. I'm sure tons of you have made rabbit sandwiches and did a better job than this. This is my first time around. My next one is going to be better. I don't know about phenomenal compared to this, but better. Thanks for watching.